Well, Apple shares rose to their highest level in almost two years after their fourth quarter profit and revenue topped analyst estimates. Mike Abramski, analyst with RBC Capital Markets, has an outperform rating on Apple. He joins us now to discuss how high Apple can go from here. Hey, Mike, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Apologies. That's correct. Thanks. So let's talk about this. You actually upped your um, price target, but let me ask you this. We had Henry Blodgett on Bloomberg TV yesterday reminding everybody that Apple kind of lowballs their earnings forecast. So why was everyone so surprised when Apple beat the street? Well, I think it was the strength of the beat and also on the guide, which typically they guide below street. They actually guide it above on revenue, but also the numbers. Three million plus max, 7.4 million iPhones. These are pretty incredible numbers considering there's a recession on. Somebody forgot to tell Apple. So it seems as if just about every analyst who covers Apple raised his price target. You have the second highest at $275 a share. Gene Munster, Piper Jaffrey's at $277 a share. So why do you think you're more optimistic with Apple's price than many of your peers? Well, it's, it, you know, it's uh, not a contest, but um, our price target, which was raised to 275 uh, was based on essentially a target multiple in our numbers, which assumes strong, um, continued momentum, distribution expansion for iPhone, new products in the pipeline, and of course, marginal performance. And I think it is hard to argue that on almost every metric this quarter, Apple delivered and plus along those kinds of lines. And so I think that's probably why people are very excited. It's actually people who are worried about expectations being too high, iPhones being low because of component shortages, but really the actual numbers blew that away. We were high on the street for Macs, and they even came above our number for Mac, which is pretty outstanding considering that Apple's products on a PC side are you know, priced obviously at a healthy level above that of competitors, and you have a pending product cycle from Microsoft on Windows 7. Specifically on the iPhone, you mentioned this demand for the new iPhone, you know, it's ahead of supply. Is that at some point going to be a problem? Can they keep up? No, it was a problem periodically, mostly because Apple was surprised at the high response to the more expensive iPhone. They thought that in this recession, their $99 iPhone would prove more popular. But in fact, it was what's called the 3GS, which was a faster, more expensive okay. iPhone that outsold uh, the uh, traditional products. Thank you to Mike Abramski with RBC Capital Markets, upgrading his price target on Apple.